Welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol. Today we're back in the Simpsonville Police Department base pack by Frost88. And this is a 2018 Charger. We'll take a look at this car before we begin. We'll start with the outside lights, stage one. It's gonna be our TA. Stage two. And stage three lighting. Very visible with these side runners. I actually like all the lights on this particular pack. Sometimes it feels like a little too much. And in this case, it is a little over the top, but uh, this thing's gonna be very visible going through intersections. Take a look on the inside. We've got a flickering laptop for some reason, but we've got a passive radar system that detects speeds. I don't see any spotlight controllers, so I'm not sure that we have spotlight. Hands line up great. We have a partition there. Let's hop outside the car, look inside. Get a further look at the equipment. So you can see down below, we've got our siren controls and radio. Also, we've got a mobile printer there in the center console, which is pretty cool to see. I haven't seen that too much. It's got a, like a roll of paper ready to feed that. And um, that is pretty much the car. So today we're continuing to look at the variety callouts pack. And we got a lot more callouts to check out. If you missed uh, yesterday's video, I recommend you going back, taking a look at that after this video. You can see a, a boat call out for stranded boater out in Boyne County. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this started. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041 10 8. Roger. Oh. In Rockford Hill. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that, show me in route code 3. Roger, 1 Lincoln 18. Right, we've got reports of domestic violence in North Los Santos. We're gonna head over there and check it out. We've got an address to head to. A lot of times you'll hear police officers when they're talking about some of the more dangerous calls, they're talking about these domestic violence calls where they show up to somebody's house, they're not aware of the layout of the house, the person who lives there obviously has the upper hand. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes these people will lash out at police when they get there who are trying to resolve the situation. So I think they're actually at this house on the corner end. What I'm gonna do is pull around through there and we'll actually go on the street they're on and uh, try to make contact with whoever called 911. But domestic violence, it can be really serious. It can escalate very quickly. So we wanna get there as quickly as possible. That's why we're headed in this fashion. It's going to be at the end of the street. Oh, my God. oh, I just did a huge U. I just did a huge circle. All right, let's park down here. The GTA 5 map is not my strong strong suit. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me on scene. 10 copy that. 1 Lincoln 18. All right, I hear, I hear uh, some aggressive type talking and some screaming. Oh, somebody's running. Somebody's on the ground. Hey, drop, oh, drop the Hands hammer. The air, drop now. the hammer. Dispatch requesting code three backup. Backup needed in Rockford Hill. All right, sir, don't move. LSPD. Adam four, copy. I want you to stay just like that. Don't touch your hammer. Dispatch, we got a possible suspect down. 10 4 1 Lincoln 18. Where are all these? <laughs> we just got women running out of here. All right, sir, stay where you're at. Dumbass. Keep me covered. Go ahead, get this person in custody. Your Looks like they're attacking now. this individual. Is that a female on the ground? Suspect in custody. All right. Um, oh, crap. All right, we got one suspect down. Let's go ahead and uh, get EMS here. Dispatch requesting ambulance. Ambulance, backup needed in Rockford Hill. Yeah, it's not looking good. looks like she was beat down with the hammer. So we're gonna get an ambulance out here. All right, man, what's going on? We got a call of domestic violence. I pull up and you're attacking this lady who is knocked unconscious. I don't talk to the cops. Okay. Well, right now, sir, you're going to be under arrest for uh, 
possibly murder if, if the uh, medics here can't revive her and she dies, it's going to be a murder charge on you. Do you have any other Please weapons are on you? Anything illegal? Okay, I'm off with the question. He doesn't want to talk. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, search him. He's under arrest, so we have the right to search him. Ugly situation, man. Ugly situation. He's got to get out of jail free card. That's not going to help him here. Marijuana residue, which is fine here in the state of Los Santos. And a veteran's ID card. So it appears he is a veteran. And uh, fortunately Christ. for him, she's going to make it. She's going to survive this uh, this beatdown with the hammer. Let me hold on to him. All right. We don't keep you two separated. She's going to be transported to the hospital for further treatment. Hey, man, you're real lucky. Real lucky. All right. I didn't find anything on him. Um, let's uh, get a ped check on him. Requesting pet check. Give me a Kevin Scarlatti, 124.80. It's a birth date. License is valid. No active warrant. It's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and put him in my car for now. My car is all the way down there. And uh, then we'll look at the property for any further evidence. Right now it's going to be some battery charges with the hammer. Like, how do you even get to that point in an argument where you just pull out a hammer and start beating somebody down? Always love the thumbs up there on the left. Survive, Jessica Hills. Thumbs up. Beaten by a blunt weapon. Yeah, that sounds uh, sounds accurate. All right, sir, go ahead, put, uh, step into my vehicle. Watch your head. All right, I'm gonna try to pull around again. That way I'm not blocking traffic. Let's actually put a waypoint there. There we go. Hey, you're good to uh, go back to your car. Yeah. I'm just concerned. I'm stopping up traffic there. So like I said, this one is also from Variety Callouts. Pretty cool scenario. And this is a really nice area. It shows that people are not, um, just because you're, you're rich doesn't mean you're immune to, uh, domestic issues. Rich people have problems. Okay. So when we were leaving here, there's like a bunch of women running out of the back. I don't know if that was part of the argument. What I'm going to do here is just look around for evidence. Um, yeah, this probably explains it. This is probably part of the issue here. Who is making that terrible noise? Making sure there's not like another weapon I'm missing. I think we're good here. Let's go ahead into our computer system and we're going to write up these charges. Oh, uh, <laughs> this, somebody's like spawning through the floor. Wonderful. <laughs> gotta love, uh, gotta love it. All right, sir, today you're going to be, uh, charged with the battery. Looks like he just has underglow ticket. Um, his address is Banhan Canyon Drive, which... I don't think we're on Banhan Canyon. No, we are not. So this is even not his address. I don't know if he was seeing somebody here. I don't know. We don't know the background story really. We just saw the aftermath. So we will go ahead and start charging him. Violent crimes, gonna be the battery. I'd say with a deadly weapon. Suspect. Knocked out female 
with hammer. Didn't find anything else illegal on him, so that's all I've got on him at the moment. And what I'll do here is we are not close to a jail. So we'll just go ahead and request somebody pick him up. Requesting police transport. I should have dismissed backup. I could have got her to take him in. Oh. Perfect. Looked like she was still in the area. Able to come right back. Yeah, if you could go ahead and transport him in, that'd be a big help. He's charged, ready to go, searched as well. All right, so that's going to be it for this call. Let's go ahead and let dispatch know. Dispatch link in 18. I'll be code 4 and back 10-8. 10-4, copy that. Traffic alert in, uh, banning. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that, responding code 3. Roger that, 1, Lincoln 18. All right, we're getting reports of an overturned bus at LSIA, which is Los Santos International Airport. They're requesting police assistance. So we're going to head over there and see what happened. That sounds like something that could be very serious, an overturned bus. Wonder how that happened. So we're headed code three over there to check it out. See exactly what's going on, but a mile away. Like I said, these side runners, excellent visibility going through all these intersections here in Los Santos. You want to be visible, you want to be heard and seen, if possible. Last thing you want to do is be part of the call where you ran into someone or someone else ran into you because they were not paying attention. It's like you want to make it dummy proof almost. Okay, about on scene. Don't look like they're quite on airport property. Maybe it was a shuttle. Holy moly, okay. So I've got some police already here. Blocking off the roadway. We'll do the same. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me on scene. 10 one Lincoln 18. Stop the traffic there. All right, so we need to talk to the supervisor on scene and figure out what's happening. I think he's on the other side. Look at this bus. Got an ambulance as well. Completely flipped on its side. That is definitely some scary stuff. All right, what's going on? What happened here? A bus took the corner too fast and overturned. Okay. So it's going too fast for conditions. Was there any, any injuries? Doesn't look like anyone was on the bus except the driver. He's being interviewed now. Okay, at least the bus was empty. What can I do for you? Investigate this scene and see if an arrest is required. If so, please do so. Go speak to the driver of the bus. Okay. All right, we'll talk to the driver, see if we get any clues. Um, maybe they're thinking he's intoxicated. I don't know. At least the bus was empty. This could have been a bus full of people. How are you doing today, sir? I'm Officer Carson with the LSPD. Are you the driver of this bus? Can you tell me what happened? I was driving down the road and I had to swerve to avoid a vehicle. I don't see another vehicle here. They took off after we crashed. Okay. So they left the scene of the accident. Okay. Can you answer a few more questions? 
Have you had anything to drink today, sir? Oh no, he's... So we're getting a positive on that he's had alcohol today. Not good. I think the should be a rest or let go. All right, sir. I think we're gonna do some field sobriety tests to determine if you're under the influence of alcohol. Do you consent to these tests? If somebody is right, you, they do need to consent to the test. Um, but if we, let's see if he, so if we say we're gonna do some sobriety tests, let's see if he says no or not. Why? Uh, you told me you were drinking today, sir. And then you've, you're involved in an accident. Standard procedure, okay? Not necessarily the Hello. yes I wanted, but uh, sir, we'll start with the walk and turn test, okay? This patch of sidewalk here, five steps forward, five steps back, count them out. One, two, three, four, five, flip. One, two, three, four, five, okay? All right, you can start when you're ready. Thank you. They always run into you when they're getting in position there. So these sobriety tests are gonna help determine if uh, we believe he's been uh, drinking, probably do a breathalyzer test if you can sense as well. There, I had a bit of a, not an argument, but a discussion about uh, whether or not licenses are suspended for failing to do a breathalyzer test. If it is a valid, um, if police have valid, this is how it works in South Carolina. If police have valid probable concern that you're legally driving, that means they have other indicators, either alcohol smell or your eyes or whatever visually, um, and uh, it's valid and you fail to do a breathalyzer test, it is an automatic suspension of your license for six months if it's a first time offense. That's how it works in South Carolina. When you get your driver's license, you consent to these tests as well. So, hello. Um, that's how it works here. Let's do the horizontal Thank gaze. You. He passed the walk and turn flying colors. This is a pen test. I don't think I need to explain. I think you guys know what it does. He passed that. Okay, uh, let's see if he'll do a breath breathalyzer test, sir. Would you consent to do a breathalyzer test? Yes, I'll consent. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Just blow this up like you're blowing up a balloon. And uh, this will give us determination of whether he's got alcohol in his, a lot of alcohol in his system. And he's completely zero, so he's completely sober. So at this point, um, let me just run his ID. If that's clean, we're gonna let him go. May side him driving a little too fast for conditions, but uh, let's let's get this checked. Requesting pet check for a Billy Jones uh, seven five ninety three license is valid. Okay. All right, sir. Um, so there is gonna be a formal investigation. Right now, we're not going to be ticketing, ticketing you with anything. However, if it was determined you're going too fast for conditions, you may receive a ticket for driving. Um, we'll have to look into your claims of an, another vehicle, uh, you swerving to avoid that as well, okay? But for now, you are free to go. Go on, you idiot. Get out of here. Me lleva. Okay, the next thing we need to do is somehow get this thing towed. So, wonder if a heavy tow truck could do it, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna try this. Oh, that was quick. We're gonna clear traffic. Okay. All right, tow truck's coming through with the bus. Looks like it is enough to tow the bus. Oh my gosh. All right, he's glitching out a little bit because there's not really a clear path as we get traffic cleared. And this one officer is just conveniently left his police car there, wonderful. All right, we'll let dispatch know we're code for you. Dispatch will be code for, back to Nate. 
Roger. One, Lincoln, 18. That is going to conclude our patrol for today. Continue to take a look at variety callouts. Today we did the overturned bus in a domestic dispute. If you guys would like to see more of this callout pack, just leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any other suggestions for this series, I would love to hear it. Thank you, as always, for making this show a success. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, we'll continue to do it as long as you guys are interested and new mods are coming out. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next patrol.